Hey everyone and welcome back to the Amber Living Vlog. This is Beyond Film School and I'm Amber and today we're talking about the entry level position in film, the additional set PA. <laughs> In case anyone wants to see my shirt, black is in fact my happy color. So before we jump into the video about the additional set PA, I have a couple things happening. On June 4th, I'm holding another Zoom virtual hangout. Please join me. Facebook link will be below. PA class happening June 28th. You can sign up for that. I have two spots left. Also, a new thing I wanted to try. I am doing for the first time ever the Beyond Film School film challenge. First time ever. I'm really excited. I want to see everyone's movies. I'm going to leave the link above so you guys can check out the requirements, what's this all about, and I'll have the Facebook event page below. And that's going to be happening on June 1st. Movies are due on June 1st. If you are in support of Beyond Film School, what I do, if you like this video, please hit up that PayPal link. That would be a way for you to thank me for these videos. And please remember to subscribe if you are new to my channel to stay up to date on all the videos I upload. This is going to be the first of the PA series. There's going to be all types of videos that discuss every type of PA position. So this is gonna be a little bit different. I wanted to try something a little bit new where I have feedback and opinions and I interviewed some of my PA friends. So you're gonna hear from them throughout the whole PA series. Every industry has an entry level position and in film that is gonna be the additional set production assistant. A large percentage of the people who work in the film industry today have actually been additional set PAs. What is an additional set production assistant? Additional set PAs are going to be the foundation of any project. They are the front lines of production. PAs are known to be the unsung heroes. I think the additional PAs are the unsung of the unsung heroes. They, nobody sings about them. For the people out there who just have not worked on film sets yet, and that's probably why you're watching this video, you're going to ask yourself, what exactly would an additional set PA do? What am I in for? So let's talk about their responsibilities. First and foremost, your responsibility is going to be lockups. There are three types of lockups. There is a regular lockup where you're making sure that people stay out of the frame, making sure that they don't get in whatever the camera is seeing. The second type of lockup is going to be a sound lockup. You have to make sure that people shut the f up. You have to make sure that people get quiet for when they start rolling. And the third lockup is going to be a TCD traffic lockup. You're dealing with cars and vehicles. So you're going to have a policeman with you and you're making sure that that policeman knows when we roll and we cut, when the cars are not allowed, when they are allowed in, and you are controlling where that vehicle can go when production is shooting. Sometimes you're going to be locking up crew members and sometimes you're going to be locking up random strangers and pedestrians on the street. So basically you're making sure that nothing ruins that take. Additional PAs Y'all do great work, okay? You hold that door. You lock that door up. You lock up that sidewalk that one person passed by in the last five hours. Additional set PAs are going to deal in communication. Uh, one word I would use to describe a production assistant, uh, communicator. If I could use two words, master communicator. <laughs> They are informing everybody what's going on. So they're doing that by echoing what the ADs say on the walkie. You know, the usual stuff like, are we rolling? Did we cut? Are we moving on? Stuff like that. Additional set PAs will find themselves sometimes doing the bells. Now, what are the bells? If you're shooting at the stages, the stages have bells to let the crew know what's happening, to let everyone know what's happening on set. So three bells for when we're rolling, two bells for rehearsal, and one bell for when we cut. So the picture here is a light switch. Now, it's labeled bells and lights. So the bells are what people hear and the light is going to be displayed on the outside doors before people walk into the stage. So you're controlling the bells and the lights for when we roll and for when we cut. Oh my goodness, I remember the first time I was on bells and I was very nervous. I did not want to mess up because that is something that everyone hears and sees crew wide. So you guys all know this because I think this is the first thing you hear when people talk about set PAs is the coffee run. So yes, as an additional set PA, you might find yourself doing a coffee order, getting everyone's coffee order, and then going to get that coffee, going on a coffee run. So just expect that. It's not going to happen every day, but it does happen. So there's also crafty runs for the ADs. The ADs can't leave set. They might need some nourishment. They might need a snack, some gum. You're going to be running to crafty to get those things for them. There's also getting 
getting breakfast and lunch orders and delivering that food to said person. You might be doing it for cast, you might be doing it for the ADs, you might be doing it for VIPs like the director or the DP or maybe the writer and sometimes the producers. Additional set PAs might also find themselves doing special runs for the ADs like they may have to pick something up at the store, they might have to pick up someone's lunch at said cafe or restaurant, um, they may have to get the ADs car from the parking lot. There's a wide variety of things you may be doing on a run. I've seen it where like an AD will have a dog on set, their own personal dog and like oh hey can you walk my dog really quick. So it could be anything. Additional PAs help distribute call sheets and sides. They also help enforce the safety rules and guidelines that are set out from locations and the first AD. They also point the way to either lunch or the next location. They literally are pointing the, the way with their hands and saying hey crew members this is the way that you need to go to get food or this is the way you need to go to go to the next location. I almost forgot about fire watching. So fire watching you're going to be doing as additional set PA a lot of the time. You are going to be watching gear while everyone is either on set or they're at lunch. Additional production assistants are going to be accompanying anyone that might have gotten hurt on set and has to go to the hospital or urgent care. They are there to stay in communication of what's happening with that person at the hospital and they are communicating that back to the ADs on set. So now we're getting into more seasoned additional PA territory where this is going to be for the more experienced, more trustworthy additional set PAs. So gaffing vans. So basically all that gaffing van entails is filling up a van, communicating with transpo, taking note of who's on that van, when the van is wheels up, and if you're in the van you're letting them know when the van landed at whatever destination it's supposed to go to. You're also confirming that if a particular person is supposed to be on the van that person did in fact get on the van and they are on their way. So an advanced gaff situation is going to be when there are multiple vans in a line waiting to be filled up, but each van might be going to a different location. One might be going to the next set, one might be going to crew parking, one might be going to base camp, one might be going back to the office, and then one may be doing the film drop. So you have to know what van is going where. You're basically coordinating the vans. You're helping out crew members get on the appropriate vans, making sure people get on the right vans. Additional set PAs will also fill in for staff PAs if they are sick, if they need a day off, they'll fill in and they'll be bumped up to that position. They're also going to be helping out with background and they're going to be helping out with first team. On certain days there may be more background or more first team cast members and they're going to need an extra hand so additional set PAs come into play there. The thing about the film industry is it's so spontaneous and so unpredictable that the best or the worst can happen and you didn't even plan for it. So like when I started as an everyday additional PA on a show, I then became a first team helper like the, I don't know, like two episodes in and I did not anticipate that at all. Um, I even didn't anticipate to be an everyday additional. I, I booked another show, but then the key PA was like, oh, can you actually stay on this every day? And I was like, yeah, sure, it's easier. I already knew everyone. But um, as an additional... Like I said, they'll, they'll throw you into the mix sometime, sometime. Like, actually, that did happen to me as well. As an additional, they put me um, for background one day, and then they put me with uh, first team or with um, uh, walkies. And so, you know, it's arguably, it's probably like <laughs> the better the better position, arguably, because you get to see everything and uh, help out in each position and then just see, you know, for yourself and get the experience that way. Additional set PAs are going to be doing the film break and the film drop. Yes, this is true. One of the newest people on set will be taking the footage that was shot that day and they will be delivering it to the post house at lunch and at wrap. Additional set PAs are getting the out times from each department as well as paperwork that needs to be submitted to the office. An out time being the time when that department is done for the day. That paperwork will eventually make its way to accounting so those crew members are paid appropriately for their day. So additional set PAs do a lot, they have a lot of responsibilities and I might have forgotten one or two just because there are so many things that additional set PAs might be doing in a day. So let's talk about what an additional set PA needs. What do you need? First of all, you need a good positive attitude. Take everything with a smile. They, everybody remembers a smile. Everybody will remember that. If you're going to be grumpy and add more stress to the crew, guess what? They're not going to want you there. Because no one wants negative Nancy or someone with an attitude because I know when I'm on set as an AD or a key PA, I am not trying to deal with anyone's attitude. 
So have a good attitude, smile, be ready to do whatever needs to be done. I also have a video that talks about the certain things you need on you as a PA and I go in depth on why you need those things. So I'll leave that video there for you guys. Just to jump into quickly what you might need is you're gonna need to make sure that your phone is always charged. So have an external battery, not just the charger, have an extra battery, external battery on you, have a call sheet, have a Sharpie, have a pen, and have an extra hot brick on you. The hot brick is gonna be a fully charged walkie battery. I know that as an additional set PA, it may be hard to get a call sheet and sides. If you can get your hands on a call sheet and sides, have those on you as well. And the last important thing you're gonna need as an additional set PA is a good ear. You need to pay attention and listen to what is being said. Really, to be a PA, you just gotta listen. You gotta watch and listen. Visual and verbal cues. And just put the pieces together. You know, when you hear the first AD talking in your ear saying something, if you're close to set, look around be like, oh, that's what he means, you know? But listen to your walkie. So how are you going to get to the additional PA spot? Now, everyone has a different origin story. Uh, I have a video on how I broke into the industry. Mine involved cold emailing hundreds of people, and that will be here for you guys to look at if you want to know my origin story and how I got started in the industry. But a lot of people start different ways. They got tips certain ways. I'm going to have some of my PA friends tell you how they got started. So I started out, um, I knew someone I went to college with that was a I believe yeah she was a costumes coordinator and there was a post on a Facebook group local zero heroes that was in need of a costumes PA and I ran it through her because you know she knew about that world and I said shall I do it you know it's my first job in production and she knew the person so she was like yeah yeah do it do it so I did it it was for Homeland season six so I started as a costumes PA and it was it was good I did it for a few jobs one thing led to another and um then I realized do I want to continue as a costumes PA? Because I don't know, I don't really want to be a costume designer. Um, but I loved it, you know, I love meeting the people I did. But it just so happened that one job I was a costumes PA on, there was an opening for an office PA position, so then I became an office PA for a year on a few jobs. The first job being an office PA I absolutely loved. You can only office PA so much, it's, you know, one of those. It's also kind of boring being in the office, but whatever. And then someone posted again on Local Zero Heroes for a set PA as a potential um, everyday additional. And then, so I hopped on that. I started working in a production company. I was um, actually doing um, an internship. And from there, I met some people in the production uh, company. It was a very small production company. So I met a, a bunch of people and one of them uh, was kind enough to introduce me to the bigger world of the bigger crews. I got my first gig in a bigger crew uh, right after I was working in that production company in the city. I said yes to an opportunity. Um, a really good friend of mine, well, my best friend actually, uh, Kit, she told me about a PA training course. Um, and then after that it was magic, I signed up. And then I was taking Amber's PA set training course, and I have been a PA ever since. It has been amazing. I got started as an additional. I got lucky on a Facebook group, Local Zero Heroes. I was on the site for like a month, and I was checking it every day. And a, uh, the day I was on it, a new th job popped up, so I was the first one to get it. And it was like uh, an NBC show. And then ever since then, just word of mouth. I worked as an intern for eight months. Um, it was getting towards a year. Trying to make connections and make friends and contacts. And uh, it was actually those contacts that got me on set being paid later. As an intern, I was not paid. It was literally uh, free labor, but they were training me in the process. And that's the only way I could get trained, since I didn't know anyone coming up here. The more friends and connections I gained, they passed my number to Keys once they figured out they were looking for people and uh, things for bigger days. And I got my foot in the door that way. I sent my theater resume to um, Beyond Film School where Amber basically said, let me review your resume. And if I like you enough, let's set up a meeting. So basically, I just needed that one person to take a chance on me because I had no film experience, but I did have theater experience. I got a degree in theater arts and I was doing 
uh, background lighting for theater at that time. So literally you just need that one person to take a chance on you. And Amber was the one that took a chance on me. After I met up with Amber and everything, um, she basically said, hey, I like you enough. I'm working on a film set. Um, that's coming up really soon. I'd love to make you a PA on that set. So that's basically how I got my start. So just a couple of side notes in regards to the additional set PA. So the experience of additional set PA can, is a really, really wide range. It could be a super green, meaning they've never been on set before, they are super new, and then they're seasoned where they're ready to move up to staff PA. So when you're new, you're gonna be given maybe the mo more basic tasks where you might just be getting a breakfast order or you might just be on lockups all day. As you're on more each day, you're gonna learn more and more, you're gonna build more and more trust with your key PA. And by the way, the key PA is gonna be your immediate boss. That person is going to be the person who hires you. The ADs are not going to be hiring you. The key PA will be hiring you as an additional set PA. Also, additional set PAs are either everyday additionals or they're day player additionals. Day player additionals mean they hop on different shows. When I was an additional day player PA, I was on five different shows in any work week. As far as an everyday additional versus a day player PA, you will have different tasks and maybe if you're an everyday additional you are more trusted an everyday additional will get gaffing vans whereas a day player pa will be doing a tcd lockup most likely you're going to start as a day player pa then you move up to an everyday additional and then you'll make the jump to a staff pa so that is the hierarchy when you're dealing with pas as an additional pa it's weird how the responsibilities vary when it comes to additional pas but it is there there you're going to be doing drastically different things from someone who's seasoned to someone who's just starting out. So that is it for the video on the additional set production assistant. I hope you have learned what you're getting yourself into if you are embarking on the film industry journey. The next video in the PA series is going to be talking about the background PAs, what they do, background runner, background helpers. We're going to be talking about the background PAs. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment below. I would love to hear from you. If you want to dig deeper, please feel free to email me at beyondfilmschool at gmail.com. Please feel free to visit my website website, follow me on Instagram, like me on Facebook, all that jazz. Um, be sure to hit that PayPal link because it really helps me out if you like me, if you like this video, if you like Beyond Film School, what I do. And remember, we have the virtual hangout happening on Zoom on June 4th. We have the film challenge happening June 1st. We have PA class happening June 28th. It is a busy month for June. So I guess we'll end it there. And that is it for this week. I shall see you guys next time. You're so important. And the better job you do as an additional PA, all right, you make your key PA look good if you're in a good additional because the key PA hires the additional. So you make your key PA look good. First AD looks good. Everybody looks good. Starts with the additionals.